Iran says its forces accidentally shot down the Ukrainian jetliner that crashed earlier this week, killing all 176 on board. The government originally denied accusations and mounting evidence that it was responsible. The plane was hit hours after Iran launched a ballistic missile attack on two military bases, housing U.S. troops in Iraq in retaliation for killing its top general. Joining us on the phone is foreign policy strategist and former UN ambassador Nancy Soderberg. She's currently the director of UNF, UNF's public leadership program. Nancy, thank you so much for joining us on the phone right now. Kind of bring us up to speed this latest development on this conflict. What does this mean here in the United States? Well, first of all, it's a stunning reversal by the Iranians who pretended that this was not a shoot down by their own missiles. Uh, it is good that they stopped lying about this and came clean that it was their missiles in the middle of this tension that thought this aircraft could potentially be a threat and shot down this aircraft killing all on board. I think what it means for all of us is um, a sigh of relief that at least they've admitted that it was a direct shot and not some other accident on a plane. But this is what happens when we have high military tensions. People make mistakes. Um, we actually shot down uh, an Iranian uh, aircraft back when the tensions uh, were heated in the Middle East in 1988, killing 290 on board. And then in 2014, the Ukrainian shot down a Malaysian civilian aircraft, killing all on board. So uh, there's a history of these kinds of things happening in the middle of deep tensions. And what it means is that the government's responsible, and in this case the Iranians, were flat-out irresponsible not to shut down commercial flights while they were shooting missiles at Iraq. It is stunning that they would let a civilian aircraft take off in the middle of those hostilities. Everyone is on edge when you're in the middle of hostilities like this. And in this case, they had just shot missiles into two bases in Iraq aiming at American installations there as a uh, response to the killing of Soleimani in um, <clears throat> last week, and the idea that in the middle of that they would let a civilian aircraft take off is flat-out irresponsible, and what we need now is a full investigation, full accounting, obviously compensation for those involved, and uh, new rules of the road that any time you're in these types of hostilities, the airspace becomes a no-fly zone for civilian aircraft, and I think that will be a step that governments need to take. This has happened before, and it for all Americans and people around the world who use civilian aircraft, anytime there's military hostility, there needs to be a no-fly zone. That's clear. This is one more tragedy, and it's just our hearts and prayers go out to the families involved. Nancy, you talk about tensions. You talk about relations. This is a Saturday morning. Just because it's a weekend doesn't mean those tensions, those relations stop. You mentioned an investigation. When do you think that investigation will begin? I think it's already begun. Once the Iranians have admitted um, they have the black boxes, they need to hand the black boxes over, make sure that um, there's a full accounting. They've apparently already cleaned up uh, the crash site, so I don't know there's much there to do. But um, there needs to be full international disclosure of what happens. And I think what forced the Iranians' hands is there was video footage of the actual missiles hitting the plane, there were satellite images of the missiles being fired, and they were just simply caught red-handed. Had there not been those images, they might have tried to cover up. And I think that there, there already are international rules that you hand over the black boxes to investigating authorities, and I think those need to be strengthened. Um, when these kind of tragedies happen, the diplomats will kick in place and try and put in tighter protocols. I would recommend that any time there's hostilities, commercial air air flights are banned from coming in and out of the aircraft into that area Nancy. clearly there needs this is not the first time this has happened so clearly we need to revamp the rules nancy thank you so much for joining us this morning